Okay, I, I got to comment on this because this is incredibly blockbuster. BBC, it's boiling inside Fukushima unit number three. Reactor supposed to be in cold shutdown. Situation quote unquote worrying. Well, many of us have believed since day one that reactors were never, they were never able to put them in cold shutdown. I mean, when weeks go by without power, when weeks go by, you don't even have control panels up. You're having to send men out to try and, uh, the first thing they want to do is try to get control panels back up so they could get readings. You know, the power went out to such a degree, the alarm stopped, the light stopped flashing even. The alarm stopped, right? And that was weeks on end they didn't have power. By the 24th of, let's see, March, April, 24th, I think, in the documents I'm seeing where they're still trying to get power into certain areas. And all that time they've been using these water cannons. And in the documents, the NRC guys are very clear about how completely useless that is. I've, I've done a, if you look at my Pacific Rim, how the radioactive water got into the Pacific, I have some screen captures from there that go into that. Okay, but check this out. This is, again, indicative of what many experts now believe is ongoing and that is a China syndrome. How many of them I could not tell you for certain but the possibility exists that there are four and that would include the fuel from number four which I have seen plenty of evidence that it went without water for a long period of time. Long enough for that stuff to get hot reach temperature and melt through and sublimate through and indeed there were conversations about it uh, sublimating through the concrete down into the torus. Now uh, let me just read what you got here and that'll be the end of this short video. Uh, title Fukushima Nuclear Plant Japan Takes Steps Over Sea Leak BBC News. TEPCO said steam was seen around the fifth floor of the building housing reactor number three. It is not clear what is causing the steam. The sight of steam rising is worrying because it means somewhere inside the reactor building water is boiling, says the BBC's Rupert Wingfield Hayes in Tokyo. The badly damaged reactors are supposed to be in what is called cold shutdown. The temperature of the cooling water inside the reactor should be well below boiling point. It is another sign that TEPCO still does not fully know what is going on inside the damaged reactors. Well, that last little bit's going to be your disinformation and propaganda they know exactly what's going on in there and the corium blobs have melted down to the ground now you have like these lava tubes and as it reaches pockets of water or whatever in the mud rock it's going to have a heck of a source term coming off of you have steam coming up through that uh, cavity those glass tubes and that's what you're going to see coming out now they can't come out and say that because again you don't want to panic the world right but it is what it is folks and again, as I always say, check the comments in here on any e news because that's where the real good information comes in. I haven't read through them yet. I'll leave it to you guys. Just quickly want to get this out that Unit 3, that's the one with MOX fuel. It's never stabilized. They've never stabilized them. They, they never got to cold shutdown is what many of us are saying and have been saying it for some time. So that covers it. Over and out.
We need to get subscribe and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.